Hi everybody, I'm back again with turn number 11. Before I do the turn, there's a couple of things I've got to do. Firstly, is Amy killed three zombies and I didn't move her up the track. So it's six, seven, she's now up to eight and she gets one extra action now. The other thing is a mistake I made. When Amy was here, she shot those two, no problem. She then shot at long range at this zombie and killed him. Now, the rule book states that you have to do it in an order. It has to be survivors first, which at this time was Josh, who was actually there, then walkers, then fatties, abominations and runners. So because she got a hit, she should have hit um, Josh, who was there, not the zombie. So the zombie would have still been alive, but Josh would have taken a wound. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm still going to have the zombie off the board, but I'm going to give Josh a wound. Um, he's got five items, so you have to take rid of one, get rid of one. So I'm going to get rid of his pan. That's the advantage of having those sort of things in your pack. If he'd had one space available, he wouldn't have had to have lost anything. But Josh has now got a wound. So that's just clarified that. So here we go with the next round. So before I do anything, uh, let's clear up the sound tokens and move the, the counter down. So it's Wanda to go first. Now here's Wanda. Now Wanda has a shotgun. So she's going to try and take out a few things before she goes. And don't forget she's got one extra action. So she could potentially have four shots here. Now she's shooting at range. Which means because she hasn't got a scope, she can't target anything. So she has to do it in order. So it's going to be walkers, fatties, abominations and runners. So essentially she can't kill this runner. But she can kill those two walkers. And she's got two dice to do it. So Wanda's been really good at firing. So she's going to go for her first action is a shot with two shotguns. With her shotgun. And she's got two, uh, a five and a three. So one of them has gone, creating a token. And I'll put this up just in case I forget. She's now up to 11. So she's got three more actions because don't forget she's got that extra action for being in the yellow so she is going to have another go to try and take out this walker she's got him now she's got two hits because the next one in the line was the abomination and you've got to get a weapon that will do three da three damage which she hasn't got it just bounces off of him and protects the runner behind him. So she's killed him. So there's another sound token. And she now moves up to 12. To go into the orange, she's got to get to 19. So she's getting up there. So that's two actions. Her third action is to move. And her fourth action, she's going to come up here and support these two guys. So that's Wanda done. We've now got Josh. Josh is there. Josh is, cannot open the door unless he swaps his machetes round with a crowbar. So Josh has got three actions. He could, if he's feeling really brave, take one action to move there, another to move there and then attack. But he's not going to do that. He's going to wait for those guys to come down. Now, Josh could trade with Amy or Wanda. Um, Josh has got a crowbar. Um, and Amy and Wanda don't want it. So he's not going to bother. But he could, if he wanted to, trade with Amy. Um, and Amy could open the door. But I'm not going to do that. So Josh is basically going to do nothing he's just sitting there waiting 
So we now move on to Amy. Now Amy can't open the door either, because she hasn't got a weapon to open the door. Um, she could trade with Josh or Wanda. Now Wanda has a shotgun, um, but Amy has plenty of ammo, but the plenty of ammo doesn't work with a shotgun. It's only pistols, um, Mars shotgun and a rifle. So there's no point in her doing anything there. So what she is going to do, um, just trying to think what can Amy do. She's going to stay where she is as well. So this is not a very productive move here for anybody. Um, we've only got two to go. We've got Doug now. Um, Doug, who's over here, doesn't have a ranged weapon, but he has a chainsaw. So if he wanted to, he could move one, two, tack him with a chainsaw, hopefully defeat him, and then hope that Ned takes out the runner. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am uh, maybe not because if they stay in that zone you've got all this lot are going to move into that zone so Doug will essentially be dead so there's no point in Doug doing anything either but he can trade he's got plenty of ammo and that can be used um, with the sawn off shotguns so what he's going to do He's going to move up here for one and he's going to trade with Amy. He's going to give Amy the plenty of ammos. This allows Amy to use it with her sawn off shotguns. And in Amy is going to, she's not going to give anything, she's just going to throw away the food. So Amy has thrown away her food. She doesn't need it. And that would be the end of Doug's go. So Amy's a little bit better off. We've now got Ned. Now, Ned has got a scoped rifle. So he, because he's a ranged weapon and he's got a scope on it, he can actually designate who he wants to shoot. So he's going to shoot this runner. And he gets one dice, but he's got to get three or more. So this is his first action. He's got him. Bang. Five. And it creates noise. And Ned has now gone up to six. So Ned has moved up the track. He's used one action to kill. Now the rifle has a distance of three. So he can go one, two, three. So he is now going to use his rifle to take out one of these because I say it's one, two, three spaces. So he's going to use his rifle as a second action to try and shoot one of them. So again, one dice, but three or more. Got it. So one of them has gone. And again, noise token. And Ned is now up into yellow, which means he gets one extra action. So he's got one more action left. Plus the fact he's just moved up. So he's now gained himself another action. Now I'm assuming you can use this straight away because his experience has gone up. So potentially he's got two more actions. Um, I might be wrong on this. It doesn't actually say anything in the rules about that. So this is the way I'm going to do it. So he's going to use his third action for a range shot against that one. He's got a three and that is all he needs. Three or more. So that zombie is also gone. I say it doesn't state in the book that you can't use that action when you gain it in that exact ter same turn. So Ned has now gone up to eight and he's got one action left so he's going to move back. Um, so that's the way I interpret 
that. So if you kill something, you immediately move up in experience and you gain the action straight away. Some people say, no, you don't move the experience bar up until you finish to go. Um, but that's down to the individual. Um, this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, the game's hard enough as it is to really complete, so I think they need a little bit of luck. Um, they've had a lot of luck in this game because I've messed up on a couple of things and they've turned out pretty well for the survivors, but um, so it's up to the individual how you want to play it. That's the way I'm going to play it. So that ends the survivors go. It's now zombie turn. Now, none of them can attack because there's nothing there to attack. Um, so you've got five noise tokens there. Don't forget, one of them didn't move. So you've got three move tokens there, three sound tokens there. So the most noise is here. So this guy is going to move there. Got no runners. So all this lot will move towards the sound. Big lumbering group there. That's the nearest sound for that one, so that one also moves in. Now, because nobody is in view for those two, you could say that they've got a split, because you've got sound there, it's only three sound, and you've got five sound there, but they are actually nearer to that noise, so they are going to interpret that noise as being the nearest for them. Um, so really what you should do is you should split. So it should be one going that way and one going that way. But because that noise is a hell of a lot nearer for them, they're both, I would say, they're both going to concentrate on the noise coming from there. So they're both going to move into there. These on the other hand, they've got one, two, three spaces to that noise. One, two, three spaces to that noise. So they are going to split. Um, I think that's how you interpret it. Um, obviously feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I've made enough mistakes as it is in this game. So it could be, but that's the way I interpret it. So now we've got the spawning phase. So moving up there. So we've got a newly shuffled pack. Yellow one walker so that's okay this zone got three walkers so you can see now how dangerous it is to keep moving up the track so we now got three more luckily they're far away as you can get down here next spawning zone one runner so he can start to catch up and over here the danger zone four walkers so that isn't very good at all uh, just bear with me a sec while I get the four walkers out so Ned is in the cack because it'll take four actions to slip away but it would need five for him to actually move there now he does have four actions because don't forget he's on the yellow track and he gets one extra action so he could slip away but he'd still stay in that place because you actually need five actions to move away so there's going to have to be some killing done here so what I'm going to do is straight away I'm going to go into the next phase so this is go number 12 so we move them away and track has got to go down um, it's on Wanda so we start with Josh now Josh has two machetes he's got two zombies coming up on him 
and he has um, slippery so he can move away from those zombies no problem so he's going to be a bit suicidal here he's going to have one move to go there his second action he's going to attack with his machetes now he's got two machetes so he's has two dice he's got to get a four or more but he's only attacking one because he's swinging at him with both machetes got him he's got a four machetes don't make noise so Josh has gone up to six now so he's using his third action to attack again got it so that walker has gone he's now in the yellow zone and he gains one extra action so he can actually use that action and he's going to use it to move back uh, so that's a bit controversial because as you say some people say you can't um, level up until the end of your go um, but I would see it as he's already got that experience from killing so he's gone up so he can use it um, so next go we have Amy now Amy is here she can't open a door she can shoot into this square but it would mean that she would be shooting at um, Ned first so she's going to have to use an action don't forget she's got an extra action because she's on yellow she's going to use one action to move in now when you're in the same square same zone as zombies you can actually aim at the zombie it's only when you're a distance that you can't unless you have a scope so for her second action she gets four dice to shoot once now this could potentially be quite a few hits here if she gets all four over three all four are gone because the bullets just spray out and hit the whole lot so here we go she's got two threes two and a one so she's taken out two straight away because it's three or more she shot them at the same time so it's a noise token and she's gone up two on the rung she's now going to use her third action to reload and her fourth action because she gets the next action to shoot again so she's done it full house gone noise token she's now up to 12 so Amy done really well there she took out all four of them this is the advantages of having dual weapons so next we have Doug now Doug's here um, he can open a door and guess what for his action he's going to open the door we now have to spawn it's yellow and it's four walkers this isn't good news so he's taken an action to open the door so he has two more actions left now Doug still hasn't killed anything he's on zero now he can use his second action to move into the room and try and take him out but he's not going to um, because that would mean if he took out two he'd have two of them on him killing him and they've still got Ned and Wanda to go so it's deciding whether they're going to do that um, he's going to just for fun let's do it so he's going to move in for his second action and his third action he's going to use the chainsaw which is five dice he's got to get a five or more to kill off one he's done it so he's killed one chainsaw creates noise and Doug has finally got his first kill because he's just been sitting back in the wings swapping and searching and all that 
So his first action was to open the door, second action was to move in, third action was to attack. So that's Doug done. We've now got Ned. Now Ned is down here. He gets an extra action because he's on yellow. So one action to move there, two actions to move in the room. Now he's got two more actions left. He's got a fire axe and a rifle. He can't use the rifle because you can't shoot that in the same square. So he's got to use the fire axe. He's got two chances now. So he's got one dice to get four or more. Missed. Second. Last action. Missed. So that isn't good. We now have potential danger there. We still have Wanda to go. Super Wanda. She can have an extra action because she can move because she's on yellow. So her extra action is to move in. So she's got three actions left. Now she's got a shotgun um, and a baseball bat. So what she's going to use is she's going to use the baseball bat first to try and take out one of these. She's got three goes left, remember, so she could potentially take all three out. She's missed. She's now got a shotgun. Now it's going to create noise, and because she's in the same square, she can target. So she's going to do it. She's going to use a shotgun for her second, uh, third action. So she needs a four. She's got two, so two of them are gone. Bang! Creates noise token. And Wanda moves up to 14. She's got one action left. She's going to use the shotgun again to try and take out this final zombie. She's got him. Bang. He's out. Noise token. She's now up to 15. So that could have worked out really bad. But it didn't. She managed to get in there and do the damage. So, um, I think I did move Amy. If not, she's not going to bother moving. Right, so that is it for the um, survivors go. Uh, so they're quite lucky there. So they've reached an objective, so they can take an objective on the next one. So next, it's the, the attack phase. There isn't any. So it's movement phase. So we start at the top. All the noises around here moves. Can't see anything. Moves that way. Noise is all around here. So it doesn't matter which way this one goes. Um, it's moving towards the noise, so it's going to go that way. This guy moves in, so you can see Amy. Now, um, I think we've got a runner somewhere. Oh yeah, he's down here. So all these, because they can see Amy, they all move towards Amy. So bear with me a sec, because there's a lot of figures here to move. Uh, don't forget on the next go, these guys can search because they're in a room, so they could get a Molotov. Okay, these three, because they can see Amy, they all move. Now the runner can't attack, so he moves. Because he's a runner, he gets another go, can't attack, so he moves. So he's now up there. So that's the movement phase over. Now the spawning phase. Right, now this says just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, this means instead of spawning, all runners get an extra turn. So that takes effect immediately. So this runner can't attack, so he moves, can't attack, so he moves. So that wasn't very good, but at least nothing was spawned. So this spawn point, three walkers. Seems to be a lot of figures spawning down in this area. This spawn area, only one walker, so that's okay. 
and finally this area the danger zone three walkers so uh, gonna have to get another box out because I've run out of walkers on my first box so just bear with me a sec so now there's um, big problems ahead up there it's getting really really crowded now try and find a walker got him sorry about that so you see now they're in a lot of trouble um, well Amy is because she can't move out of that spot because there's one two three four there's five zombies there so she would need six moves just to move one slot away so some of these guys are gonna have to come out and take some of these out so that Amy can move the thing is it's Amy's go she's going first so I would say she's definitely going to use up all her goes to shoot as many of these guys as she can so she's got one extra action but she's got sawn off shotguns so she's going to need them to reload so potentially she's got two shots and that will be it okay sorry about that someone's shouting at me um, so that is it for that move um, a bit chaotic um, I hope you can still follow what's going on I uh, don't think there was any mistakes made there it makes a change so until the next video um, take care and I'll see you then